Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. As you can tell by the title today, I'm going to be showing you guys my long jumbo box braid hairstyle that I did for vacation. I needed something that was quick and easy, but something that lasted at least two weeks. And I ended up really loving this hairstyle. So what I did, I blow dried my hair. I had just washed it and I just went in and started parting. So I feel like as I was like watching videos to come up with my hairstyle, I wanted to make sure that the parting for this video was really in depth. So if you have a hard time parting your hair, go ahead and watch this because I did this all by myself. Now my parts were not super straight. They were not perfect, but I tried to get them as perfect as I possibly could. So I had a mirror behind me, a mirror in front of me, like in my hand, and then I used a ponytail holder to hold the hair up and down, as you can see right here, to make sure that the parts were as straight as I could get them. Like I said, they're not perfect whatsoever, but I wanted to get them as straight as I possibly could. So honestly, for me, parting takes the longest, but uh, you know, take your time if you got time. <laughs> so I parted the back first and I started to go in and part my crown. I love using a metal rat tail comb because it gives me the sharpest part. And since I'm doing this by myself, I need to make sure that all my tools are working for me and not against me. So as I parted the back, I clipped that down, well, kind of held it down with a ponytail holder, and then I did the center. We're basically doing three big sections. So I'm just going in and making sure those three sections or rows, I will call them, are even so towards the crown of my head I want to make sure that I kind of get a good you know circle going on there or like half circle and make sure that everything's nice and even and then I put on my ponytail holders just to make sure that everything is looking you know as good as I can get it so as you can see I have my three sections parted that makes it super easy and then I begin to go in and part the back so I did two big braids in the back so I just need one part down the middle for the first section near my neck so I take my hair tie and I use my edge booster for coarse hair because uh, my hair needs it and this is the only edge control that really holds my hair in place um, don't use a lot because this can go left real fast like the edge control it can turn white real quick don't use a lot a lot because I ended up using too much and I had to go back in and redo some braids because it was white but you know use a good amount <laughs> if you use edge control you know what I'm talking about especially this one so I'm just making sure that those sections are really flat and I take a boar bristle brush as you can see and just really brushing that down to make sure that these sections are really flat in some areas I did use two rubber bands instead of one just to make sure that my braids look right I feel like the parting makes your braids look better and the rubber band method for me is the easiest most beginner friendly way to do braids because I'm not the best at parting but if I have a good rubber band on there I can see where my parts are and it kind of gives me a nice good base for my braids so I go in and do the next section and I do do my edges as I go because my edges kind of go into my hair. I don't know if everyone's does that, but I, I don't know, but I just need to do my edges as I go and I am brick layering my parts. So I'm not putting the parts right on top of each other. I want my braids to fall really nicely. So I'm going to, you know, brick layer them or whatever. You guys told me that in my last video. That's what it's called. So, um, I believe I had either six braids in that row, in that second row. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> then I'm going on the top and all I'm doing on the top is creating four braids on that top portion there. I didn't want too many braids. I didn't want to be parting forever. So this was like the easiest, simplest way to get some easy, quick braids going on. I was thinking about doing the knotless method, but when I do the knotless method on myself, my hair gets frizzy really fast. So yeah, I'm going to have to figure out another way to do that. But doing the rubber band method, the traditional way for me works out perfect. So I'm adding my edge control to the four big sections on the top. I'm combing through my hair just to make sure that everything's, you know, cool and then I take my um, edges out 
just to make sure that they're not slicked up in the hair i hate when i do that because um i hate like tugging at my hair after it's in a rubber band so you know take your edges out at the top especially and then add your rubber bands in and you can do your edges after especially like the top portion and putting these rubber bands in are super easy it's just getting my hair to lay down is the hard part so I go on and do my edges I take a toothbrush and you know swoop them bad boys down because I want to see how they're you know gonna lay and all that stuff so now it's time for the hair I'm gonna use this um, already pre pulled hair I don't know if that's what it's called but it's already like pulled down so that it's not super even at the bottom and I section off the hair like this I'm gonna show you this again I believe and um, I take these two sections and put them around each other like so and then I begin to braid so I have my three little portions of hair that I will use to you know braid into my own hair so I'm just gonna start in the back I feel like starting in the back is the best way to start especially if you're a beginner because your first braids are the worst braids okay <laughs> like they really are the worst so start in the back and I promise you will get better as you get to the top portion of your hair now I'm not teaching y'all how to braid because I've been braiding since I was like five because my mom was a hairstylist but you know you gotta learn how to braid first like I don't I can't teach y'all that I'm not the best braider but I can braid with my hair and some weave okay <laughs> so yeah just braid and keep braiding down keep braiding down with my hair I know I have to add, add edge control as I braid because with the weave in my hair I have to make sure that it's blended and you know as best as I can so I have to add edge control as I braid and I braid all the way down you know as far as I can and then I add two rubber bands at the end so as you can see I'm doing it again take my two sections of hair um, by the way I use about two of these three packs of hair that I showed you in the beginning so it's not that much hair at all either so this is probably what less than a ten dollar hairstyle it's less than ten dollars to do this hairstyle so i'm just going ahead and braiding i go in and do each section adding edge booster as i go and these braids are really chunky but i really like it i really like it i wanted a good nice size jumbo braid i just like fat braids okay like they just look really cute so i'm just going in and braiding and you'll get your size correct as you you know go along it was pretty easy to do the sizing for these braids too because I just you know you can feel it in your fingers so and I really liked using this brand of hair it made it easy to braid and the hair didn't get all over the place so you know with like canicoline hair sometimes the hair can get like really messy real quick and then it gets tangled really fast but this hair was really easy to work with I liked it and I will definitely be using it again um, another tip when you start to braid um, start braiding in the same spot for a long time so don't move your hands um, when you braid on top of the rubber band kind of just stay there for a minute but braid at the same time if that makes sense and then when the braid becomes a braid <laughs> then you start braiding I don't know if that makes any sense but that's helped me do my own hair I don't know at home so yeah so when you begin braiding just keep braiding in the same spot until the braid becomes a braid and then you keep braiding <laughs> I feel like I use braid a lot but that's the only way I know how to explain it guys but this was the last braid like the feeling of having your last braid is the best feeling ever um, I ended up having to go back and do the top four again because the edge control had turned white and I didn't notice till the end but these braids look super cute like I said they're not perfect at all I wasn't going for perfect honestly I was trying to get this done before my daughters woke up <laughs> um, so get you some hot water sis put your 
braids in some hot water i dip a lot of my hair into the hot water because i don't like my braids to be stiff i want my braids to be able to move in the wind okay so i'm gonna dip a lot of my braids most of my braids in some hot water because i don't need them to be sticks okay i need them to be flowy okay so i'm just dipping them in i keep my head in there for like 15 to 20 seconds not that long and then just make sure you have time to let them air out because you don't want to sleep with wet braids it's not it so just let them air dry and then you will be good to go i did forget to show you guys how to add the jewelry and stuff but i'm going to add a clip of one of my old videos so you can see how to do that and also if you want to watch the old video you can do that too um yeah so this is the end result without the jewelry um but it was super cute it was really easy it took me about an hour and a half to complete um yeah and i liked how i did the uh, the pattern too like the the parting even though it's not perfect you know it's still cute so here is the jewelry part this is one of my old videos but you can add the string in your beads it's super simple this is how i add the string it's really easy you just kind of tie the string around the braid you can do it however you want really but this is how i do it um creating little x's uh, you know on the braid and then i tie it at the end pretty straightforward but i'll show you again so that you got it So here are a couple pictures from my trip. My hair lasted the entire time. It was great. It was a really nice, easy, carefree hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, share it with a friend, subscribe, like this video, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.